as we continue to look at the Great Bacon Run coming up on August 17th at Garden City City Park. We've talked to the folks from the Bocelli Group about their sponsorship of the event. But with us now is Megan Sharon from the Maplewood Community Center with a number of hats that she wears yes. along with, again, with Dan Plamond and from Parks and Rec and the organizer of the Great Bacon Run. In this case, Megan's group, two groups, two of the beneficiaries. Now explain that to us. And again, as you know, we were talking, the race committee for this year felt it was important you know, to keep the proceeds as far as giving back to the community, to keep it in Garden City. And it was very quick um, in our discussions early on in the planning of this event that we wanted to identify a group and the suggestion of the coalition and the food pantry, um, who has you know, got a good name buzz in the community with a lot of different events and giving back, that it would just be logical to give back to those organizations. So um, it was, like I said, it was a unanimous vote. And their, their impact and involvement in the community just seemed to lend you know, well to our event. Um, so, you know, we contacted Megan and the folks over at the FRC and said, hey, we're doing this event this year and we're giving you money. So, um, so yeah, so we're excited to work with her and, and, and give back to the community. So, And, and I know you understand it completely well. I, I talked about this before we started this interview is that I get confused as to where one thing ends and the other thing begins at the Maplewood Community Center. Right. But explain, first of all, explain what your job is at the Maplewood Community Center. All right. So I am the Community Resources Coordinator for the City of Garden City. Um, so the Department of Community Resources. Mm -hmm. um, and in, the, in that department, there is my division, which is the Community Supports Department, and, or division, and then there's the FRC and the which Senior Center. Which is Family Center. Resource Center. Mm -hmm, Family Resource Center, and then the, the Senior Center. Okay. Um, so I'm also the coordinator for the Garden City Community Coalition, um, which is a grassroots co um, coalition, a 501c3. Um, and we try to mobilize community groups and members to improve safety and health and quality of life for all that live in Garden City. Um, so there's five different um, focuses that we have. One, the first one is health and wellness, so the Healthy Kids Happy Families program. Um, from the start of that program, the uh, uninsured children rate, um, the rate of uninsured children <laughs> um, was 5% in Garden City, and last year it was down to 2%. Okay. So we know that we've been pretty successful with that. Um, we also support um, food insecurity, so that's the food pantry. Um, we do um, substance abuse prevention and education, so we've collected over a ton of unused prescription drugs. Literally. A t over a ton. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and disposed of it safely, so it doesn't get into the hands of those that, that shouldn't have it. Um, and we also do financial inclusion and community enrichment stuff, so like Santa Land Parade. And the Santa Land Parade comes under the 501c3 of the Garden City Community Coalition. Correct, correct. So, so that is one of the beneficiaries of this parade, that money can be well used. Yes, absolutely. So the Santa Land Parade, um, it can be used for um, any of our youth groups for Thrive, so that that's um, to teach kids about substance abuse and how to be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and since 2014, the rate, the use of um, the rate of use for adolescents for alcohol, marijuana, and prescription drugs has declined steadily. Um, and we'd like to think that's directly because we've been in the schools talking to them about it. Okay. Um, so yeah. That's the Garden City Community Coalition. And then the other group that is a beneficiary then will be mm -hmm. the, the home pantry that yep. is also located at the Maplewood Community Center. Correct. So our home pantry, um, home stands for helping others with opportunities, um, meals, and empowerment. And um, it serves all Garden City residents. And we just added on Garden City f um, school district families. So any kid that goes to Garden City schools and their families can also benefit from the food pantry. Um, and a little bit of a um, sad statistic is that 20% um, of children in Garden City are living in poverty. So the food pantry um, is a way that we can meet that need um, and get meals on the tables for those kids. Um, so about, like, so if, say we get $1,000, um, that would feed uh, roughly like 200 families for the month. Okay. So that's really great. So your, your overhead for this is virtually nothing because right. you right. have all volunteers, all volunteers and you have a, a wonderful core of volunteers mm -hmm. that help run this. Yes, the core has been there for years and they are v extremely passionate. Um, so they, they take care of everything. Pat Ryback is there kind of heading things up 
And um, it, it, it really is a, an amazing group of people. That, that and and, and it's well received in the community, not only by the folks that use it, mm -hmm. but other corporations and companies that are willing to make contributions towards it. Correct, correct. So we're very, very um, careful about where the money goes um, and make sure that the money goes directly to food and supplies for those patrons. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a really good group. <laughs> so uh, two of the beneficiaries of this, mm -hmm. along with the folks at St. Jude's, mm -hmm. and, and, a, and, and a great opportunity for you folks to get involved, too, in this event. Absolutely. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to be, to be a part of this um, this year. And I know that the people that work in the pantry and in the coalition are really excited to, to be a part of the Bacon Run this year. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, the one thing I want to emphasize, too, it, it's... We like to work with organizations that have a, a good positive impact in the community and that are well run and well organized. Um, you know, Megan touched on it. You know, not only are we looking to give back to groups like um, the Food Pantry and the Coalition, but in turn, we're hoping that they can, you know, come out and help us the day of the event mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. and, and if they can't, then we're still going to, you know, give as much sure. as we can. Mm -hmm. sure. um, but Megan and, and her staff run a, a great ship over there and have nothing but positive, um, you know, feedback that we've gotten. Mm -hmm. And the committee, like I had mentioned before, the committee just felt it was a no-brainer to, you know, give to those organizations. So we're looking forward to it. All right. Well, the Community Coalition, as well as the Home Food Pantry, two of the beneficiaries of the Great Bacon Run for 2019 that will be on August 17th at Garden City Park. GreatBaconRun.org ba greatbaconrun is where you can find more information coming up on August 17th.